guys, so today we are going to be trying out a really cool product that I am so excited to try and I know I look crazy right now but I just went ahead and did my eyes because this is a face product, the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to finally have this in my hands. So obviously I have not tried it yet. Here's the proof. Perfectly fine. Perfectly untouched. Untouched. Not used. Perfect. Okay. So I'm so excited to use this. Um, basically, I already have nothing on my face except I went ahead and I did my toner and my cleanser. And my face is actually a little dry. So I don't know if I should really put moisturizer on because I don't want it to mess up the, with the product itself. But what I am going to do is because from what I've read, this is supposed to be hydrating and stuff and obviously a dupe for the Tatcha uh, Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I do not own <laughs> the Tatcha Primer. It is a little pricey for me, but I think one day I will purchase it. But we're going to give this one a try. So, it says, I'm going to look at the directions because I threw away the box already. I'm so smart. It says that it is infused with squalene to help grip makeup for all day wear, protect the skin from moisture loss, velvet texture to glide on the skin in smooth imperfections for poreless effect. It says apply a thin, even amount of moisturized skin prior, oh, to moisturized skin prior. Okay, so I will actually be right back and I will hydrate my face. <laughs> put on my Origins Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer um, just to moisturize my face. My face feels a lot better now, so that works. <laughs> um, so it says apply a thin, even amount prior to makeup application and allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. So there's no scent to this, so I'm going to dig my nail into it. We'll start off with a little bit first because I don't know how this is supposed to work. Oh. Okay. It feels very um smooth going on. Like it's not like a greasy feel, but it's like like watch it. See that? It's just like and it melts right in. So it is pretty kind of creamy. Um I'm kind of pushing it in and rubbing it a little hard because this is supposed to be like a pore filling thing so I'm trying to get it to go in all my fine lines and my pores. I'm going to put a little more right here just because this is kind of where I have the biggest pores on my face. I'm not sure if it's necessarily covering the pores and I can't see them anymore or just because maybe this is giving me a bit of a matte. Um, slight matte covering to my face. I think it is actually. And that's why it looks like the pores are a little bit more diminished. But I'm going to look real quick. Actually, let me see if I can give you a close up. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Maybe you can see it. But like, my skin is obviously not perfect. But I think you can see the pores I'm talking about right here. Um, on my face. I do have a smile line right here and here and then this is the side with the primer without foundation. Okay, so see how this side looks a little more radiant and then this side is a little more matte. It definitely feels really nice. It feels smooth. Um, it doesn't feel sticky or anything. So that's nice, but here is, let me see if I can get closer. This is kind of how it looks. I'm trying to cover the lighting a little bit so you can see my pore. So there's that and this. It does look like it did something, but we'll find out mostly when I put my makeup on. I feel like that's going to be the real test. So I'm focusing it where the pores are most prominent, and then I'm bringing it up kind of where my highlight is. Because highlight for me, I love it, but it does emphasize my texture. Now, I don't know if I can put this under my eyes. I'm going to give it a try, but I'm not going to dig in. I'm just going to rub my finger on the top and maybe put it here because 
If it's supposed to like smooth everything, I want the under eye to be smooth, to be quite honest, because I don't know about you, but I got some lines under my eyes. Just naturally creasy eyes, so if this can make it smoother, that'd be great. So far looking though, I think it did something. That's pretty cool, okay. So I'm gonna let this sit for 30 seconds and I'll come right back, okay? Okay, so this is what it's starting to look like. So I'm gonna bring you up close and I hope maybe you can see a difference. But I kind of see a difference and I'm kind of liking it. Okay, hold on. Do you see a difference? Like on this side? I feel like this right here looks really smooth. Okay, so I have you a little closer up because I feel like you are going to want to see the foundation being applied a little closer. So that's why I have you a little bit closer. So hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm going to go in with my normal foundation just because this is what I use every day. And just so we don't have any other like varying factors that are going to like mess with the results. I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. I'm just going to use my sponge that I always use, um, which is the Flower Beauty sponge. I'm too lazy to go wet it, so I'm spraying it. <laughs> Look how funny that is. Anyway, going in. Yeah, and I ended up letting this sit, I think, for like a minute <laughs> on my face, so it should be completely set. Another thing about me is I really don't believe in primers. I never prime my face beforehand just because I've never really seen a huge result with primers or like my makeup sticking better or my face looking more flawless. So that's why I never do them. But this one I was so excited to try because, you know, it's supposed to be like so amazing and make it long lasting and all that, which as I am getting like more into my makeup and more into doing more dramatic looks I do want my makeup I care more about my makeup lasting because you know I worked hard on it and I don't want it to go away in like an hour or two you know I don't see much of a difference when it comes to my nose but my nose is being a little more acne prone lately like more um having little head like blackheads and stuff so but I will say right here wow okay before I go in with concealer, I'm just going to show you what this looks like because I'm a little shocked, but I like it. Okay. Sorry I have to keep like cutting in and out. My camera doesn't focus like automatically, so I have to do it. But do you see this? Like, this right here looks really nice. I don't know. Right here, I see something kind of weird going on. But over here, pretty good. Okay, so this is the final look of what I have going on today. We're going to be running some errands, my mom and I. So I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy, but I am going to go out in public. So we're going to see how this wears. Um, I'm going to try to do some check-ins, but I'll be using my phone because my camera is a little too bulky for me to be taking that to places. One thing I do notice so far is that um, my smile line right here <laughs> um is already going ahead and popping out but that's normal that always happens with my uh makeup now it's just i'm getting older <laughs> just turned 20 and now i'm <laughs> getting more wrinkles but this one is my problem line but you know what can you do also i see that my pores look pretty good so far i mean overall with my makeup and everything i feel like it looks pretty pretty good um it looks pretty airbrushed and I got a second opinion from my mom and she thought my skin looked really, really airbrushed too. Like usually when I have my, just my foundation on with no primer or anything, um, I don't have severe pores or anything, but you can see them. You can see my texture, you can see the pores, especially in this area. So, so far with the primer, I am seeing a difference. I'm seeing that, you know, my pores do look actually a little bit um, less noticeable. And forehead wise, I don't look that wrinkled. I have pretty much like three defined lines and I don't see them so far. So we'll see how this goes and I'll check you guys in later. Right now it is 1217, so we'll check in later, okay?
And I'm going to zoom you in a little bit on um, what my skin looks like up close, so then when we check in, maybe you can see a difference. So it is officially 10.09. This is about 10 hours of wear right here, which is normal for me. This is basically how long I usually wear my foundations just because I go to work and then I come home and then I'm doing my homework like I am right now. And then whenever I finally get like tired enough, I go and take a shower. So overall, looking at my skin, I think my skin looks kind of dry. Um, I don't necessarily think that is the um, putty doing that. It's just my skin naturally because I did powder my face. But um, overall, it doesn't look that bad. I did fall asleep, so you can kind of see where some of my foundation has actually come off from taking my nap. So, oh, and obviously my lips, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> but um, basically, other than that though, I feel like... Everything's pretty good, pretty intact. I mean, I even laid on this side of my face and my highlighter is still there. Yeah, big difference. Look at that. This looks way more shinier than this one. That's so funny. But, um, yeah, other than that, though, I feel like my forehead looks pretty good. Um, my nose doesn't look that bad. My line actually kind of, like, it's there, but, like, not as prominent as it was earlier which is kind of weird I don't know maybe that's just because the makeup kind of came off a lot of varying factors could have been that problem or that that reason I want to take a look back at the claims because I don't remember them but it did say it's supposed to help you know grip the makeup for all day wear protect the skin from moisture loss and velvet texture to glide glide over the skin and smooth imperfections and poreless look now do I think I look more poreless I'm gonna give it kind of a yes like I don't really think I had that prominent of pores in the first place but I will say I think it did look a little smoother earlier on but now um, I feel like my pores kind of are showing just a little bit right here but other than that though it's really not that bad and like longevity wise I think everything stayed pretty good intact I mean you can see the highlighter stayed intact and even over here when I slept on it so I have to give it some points for that um, but I will definitely say it is very, very velvety. It's like the weirdest texture because I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, it's like a cream that just kind of smooths out into almost like a, not like a silicone feel because I feel like silicone is more slippery, but it does turn into more velvety finish. I think personally that it does turn a little bit matte from the primer like your skin will be a little matte it's not gonna look more dewy or radiant but do I think my skin feels more hydrated I don't think so and that's kind of one thing I was really interested in was because you know I have dry skin I don't feel like my skin is drier which is good I don't want my skin to feel drier but I don't feel a significant change in how hydrated I feel my skin is. I don't know if that's necessarily because I did powder it. So I think what I'm going to actually do is um, tomorrow I'm going to try it again. But this time I'm going to try it with these, these, <laughs> this cushion right here from Wet n Wild. Put primer on one side and then not on the other because this is a lot more of a dewier finish. And it... Um, does kind of emphasize a little bit of my texture here um, and like here because of the fact that it is dewier and more watery so I'm really interested to see how it's gonna look at that point so I'm gonna do that for tomorrow so you'll see me in a little bit but tomorrow <laughs> I'm gonna see you and we're gonna put this to the test good morning you guys so funny story um, it's actually 
two days later since I filmed. Um, I forgot to do it yesterday, but honestly, it's not a big deal because I only did homework yesterday, so I was at home all day just on my computer. So today I'm going to work, so I will be putting this thing through kind of a day test. Um, right now it's 1040, so I'm going to be just doing something really quick. So I'm not going to really show you like anything major, but um, I just want to show you what my skin looks like right now. So let's just zoom in. Okay, so this is this side of my face. This is this side. So I can see my pores from here um, in my mirror. So we'll see how this goes with the um, cushion foundation. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the primer on this side of my face and then leave this by itself and then we're going to see if there really is a difference or not with this foundation and then also um, I'm going to zoom in like I did last time and then I don't know if I'll really be able to do any checkups but we'll see. I look crazy but this is what it's starting to look like. This is the side that I put the primer on and then this is the side that I put the uh, foundation itself on um honestly I don't see a difference at all I think both sides look just the same yeah I don't see much of a difference with this one I think they actually look exactly the same so I'm not really sure if it's really blurring my pores in this one I'll just powder and we'll see what happens after I powder Okay, so this is what it looks like after I've powdered and put everything else on. I think both sides look basically the same. I don't really see that much of a difference, but, you know, we could see a difference later on. But, um, so far it looks pretty much the same. So, I'm going to get ready to go to work and I'll see if I can do a checkup with you guys. But if not, I'll be back and I'll do another check-in. <laughs> it's currently... 11:45 right now so basically midnight um i have had this on for 14 hours is that really how long i've had it on gross <laughs> i don't think makeup should be worn this long but basically i just now finished doing some homework and i'm talking really quiet because the rest of my family is asleep and i'm up for some reason I will say the cushion, I don't think it made my foundation stay any longer than it usually does just because cushion foundations for me, at least for that one, I already know if I touch my nose I can rub it because it is allergy season so I am always constantly like touching my nose and stuff like that and putting my hands on my face which is a big no-no but um, I do that kind of stuff so I don't expect it to have lasted and um, you really can't tell but I know that some of my foundation is missing so longevity wise I don't think it really kept my foundation on or like had it stick on better um, at least with this foundation but granted, I do work in a warehouse, so when I am messing with stuff and the gloves and all that stuff, like, it, it comes off. So, I don't really blame the primer for that. Although, pore-wise, I want to say I do see a difference. Um, yeah, I kind of do, actually. My highlighter looks the same on both sides. Um, my inner quarter highlight has stayed... My nose highlight has stayed, which is impressive. Um, chin highlight is still there, even though I touch my face all the time. I'm trying to make sure I'm not, like, placebo affecting myself. Okay, hold on. When I look over here on my forehead, right here looks a little smoother than this side. I want to say this side looks less cakey, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know if it necessarily looks blurring. But I feel like my skin does look better right here than it does over here. And I'm obviously going to zoom in. I'm just kind of doing an analysis of myself right now. Uh, I will say my nose looks less cakey on this side than it does on this side. Although I don't know if that has to do with my fingers like touching my nose today. 
so I will not rule that in any favor or anything if that makes sense like it's kind of like one of those variables I can't really tell what was the real cause of it so just keep that in mind um, yeah the foundation has definitely come off right here because you can see this little red mark right here which I mean after 14 hours <laughs> what do you expect <laughs> okay yeah so I definitely like this side of my forehead more than this side I don't know if maybe I just have more wrinkles on that side or if the primer really did smooth it but I feel like my skin looks pretty smooth actually um, from there um, this is my nose. Hi. This is awkward, isn't it? I'm sorry. But this, see the, like, pores going on here? Like, my blush and everything is just like, I look like crap, so I'm sorry. But, I feel like I look more porous here compared to, like, right here I don't know Maybe. I definitely don't recommend wearing foundation for this long and on top of that my foundation itself was not really meant to be worn for that long so I don't like expect it to be perfect um although I will say um I feel like this did better with regular foundation than the cushion like, I don't want to get my final thoughts right now because I'm, like, mentally drained and I can't remember anything right now. But I will say I think I liked my skin better on the first day I tried this rather than with the cushion. But, yeah, so good night and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so it is a few days later and I am ready to give you my final thoughts. So, looking back at the claims, again, because I just want to refresh because I need a refresher honestly it said it's supposed to you know smooth your skin help grip makeup with the squalene and to provide uh, protection for the skin for moisture loss and it's supposed to you know be velvety and glide over the skin and smooth over imperfections for a poreless effect now imperfections wise I I would assume they're including fine lines fine line wise no my skin still has the fine lines showing up on my mouth you know like I, I didn't see anything revolutionary there I would put it under my eyes because I would do that every time I just have naturally creasy under eyes but I didn't see them smoothed out either so I will say based off my eyes and based off that smile line I have right here <laughs> um, it's not meant for fine lines just gonna get that out there but being more smooth looking as in pore wise I do think that this primer worked because just right here I just noticed I look so soft and airbrushed ish like I just look smoother I'm just making sure <laughs> they're not vanished okay like it's not actual Photoshop for your face but it does really smooth your skin out pore wise. I don't really wear primers so the fact that I put this one on and I really like the way my skin looked I think it really did do something. If you're looking for something that has that like sticky feeling that people say oh it feels sticky and tacky so like my foundation is gonna stick. This doesn't feel sticky it feels smooth I don't know how to explain the texture when you like rub your finger over it it just kind of like it almost feels like maybe like a lush product like those melting bars it's kind of like that but maybe a little less slick because I feel like you know lush is very oily and this isn't very oily so along that line it saying that it was hydrating I I don't really want to say it is I don't think it is um, mostly because you have to put a pr you have to put a moisturizer on before you put this primer on and it even says that in the instructions so it kind of makes me think that whenever you're feeling the moisturizing sensation on your skin I feel like it's more of the actual moisturizer than the primer because I understand they put like squalene in it and stuff if that's how you pronounce it and it's supposed to you know be really hydrating and hold on to moisture but when the instructions say to put moisturizer on beforehand, um, 
I I can't really I don't really believe it's moisturizing now it's not drying I feel like I'm not helpful at all like I think really the moisturizing you're looking for is gonna be in your actual moisturizer I will say though for I mean an eight dollar primer it's kind of like fun to use to be honest because you're just kind of it and put it on so it's kind of like you know it's one of those fun products I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my gosh this is the most amazing thing ever go and buy it like I don't feel that life-changing about it but I don't think it's a bad product my pores at the end of the day don't look as good as they do at the beginning but they don't look awful like I don't want like I have craters or like my face is Swiss cheese you know what I mean like does that make sense I don't know I think it's a good product. I think it's worth trying. And like honestly, if you don't like it, you can return it. But yeah, so I feel like I have babbled way too long and I'm sorry that this video, I know it's going to be so long, but I just wanted it to be very detailed and um, helpful with this review because, you know, I look to other people's reviews to see whether or not I want to buy it and I want to be as honest and like as helpful as I can with giving you as much information about a product and whether or not it worked for me. Just in case you're like me, like you have my skin or just because you just want to see another person's opinion about it before you go and buy it. So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, like you a real one, thank you because I know this video I know it's gonna be long, I just know it. But I really do appreciate when you watch my videos because someone's actually watching my video. Like, you actually wanna listen to me, that's weird. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. I have to go to work. Oh my god, I'm gonna be late. Okay, um, but I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! <laughs>